This hula hoop lesson is featured on my Level Up Your Flow hula hoop course. If you're interested in a growing library of intermediate to advanced hula hoop tutorials, check out the link in the bio for the full course. Welcome to the Level Up Your Flow hula hoop course. I'm your instructor and flow me, Zoe Joy. Let's learn fun tricks and sequences that are sure to level up your flow in no time. In this lesson, we're gonna be learning the coin spin wedgie. For this one, we're going to take the concept of walk the dog wedgie escalator we learned in lesson 18. If you need more practice on your wedgie, please go back to lesson 9 and 18 before we continue. When you first start learning this trick, it'll feel like dumb luck when you get it. But we're going to break it down so that you can get your timing right. If you're all ready to go, let's break down the spin. I'm starting out by holding the hoop at 12 o'clock. As you can see, I'm holding the hoop out in front of me so it doesn't hit my legs. Get comfortable with twisting your wrist back and forth. Start slowly and try to increase the speed of the hoop without it getting wonky. This helps build strength in the wrist so that you can do this trick easily. Once you feel more comfortable, try spinning the hoop on the floor like you see me doing here. Do one pinky lead twist and wind the hoop up and then twist the hoop led by your thumb and let go. You want the hoop to spin like a spinning coin. Let's practice that a few times. Goal is for the hoop to stay relatively in the same place and spin fast. Now I want you to count the number of times the hoop rotates until it hits the ground. Make a mental note of when the hoop is facing your legs. This is the point you'll be able to start your wedgie. Let's practice this trick in a controlled manner. Start out by holding the hoop and twisting it with your fingers. And when the hoop is facing you, step your opposite leg into the middle space of the hoop. You can then start your wedgie. Obviously, the actual trick isn't this easy, but we're going to start out slow by twisting the hoop slowly, letting go, and then trying to go into our wedgie. You're going to see me struggle a few times because it's not always intuitive, but I promise you the more you practice, the more you'll get it. You'll see me counting the times the hoop spins and getting ready to go into the wedgie. I'm keeping these blunders in to show that Everything isn't always super smooth in hooping, but we keep going, we keep trying, and we learn together. And that's the trick. I hope you enjoy it and have fun. Keep practicing, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.